All right, we're good to go. Sorry. I had to get all of my banter out so that my forward-facing personality could be not toxic. I am stuck on Firebrand tonight, by the way. Which is unlucky, but we'll find opportunities to switch, maybe, because I really want to check some stuff on Necro tonight. We'll see how it goes. Do I have oil? I do have oil. Perfect. Did I mute myself? No, I'm good. Okay. Sorry, I, I have like a pre-flight checklist that I need to go through now to make sure that I'm the professional at all times. <laughs> What's up, Senna? How are you doing? My commander forgot to eat his food. Sorry. Hang on a minute. I think, I think the checklist is complete. Uh, game is updated, which was easy, because I haven't played anything between yesterday and today. Liberation. Titles updated. Fight bot is started. Overlay works. Uh, mic is not muted. I, that's it. How do you know Zick's previous mic didn't sound like Zick, and now you're hearing actual Zick's voice, and you're like, that's not Zick? Did you think about that? Zick got a new mic, he sounds extremely different. Wait, Zick, his previous mic was a phone mic? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, I was gonna say, that's actually like a pretty good quality phone mic. Thanks for the follow, by the way, Ted Zumi. I catched my ass commanding on a phone. No shot. That sounds way too hard. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna let Ruthless decide what he needs tonight based on the groups we find, because, like, it doesn't feel like it really matters. Listen, have a couple fights tonight, and then we'll revisit this conversation, okay? Because we might run into Fabian with like 60 people like we did yesterday, and we literally need Barrier to survive. Or we might run into competitive groups with a res train, and we're like, Demon Queen might kind of go off here. It really is going to depend. We might also find nothing, and then it doesn't matter. Like, you should be running the freeze shout. Last night was fine. We got like, a, we got a ton of bags. We didn't find competitive fights yesterday, but we did get a lot of bags. Um, yeah, I probably could, but they're all on Scourge right now, so it doesn't matter. I don't know, man. Like, it's so contextual. We should do that, yeah. So, what the hell is a Kata in Party 6? Pigeon, what are you doing? The what are- okay, your damage? Okay, go to Party 3? Okay, that's fine too. Mmm... We- yeah, okay. I'm gonna- I'll let you do it. Steam Deck Commanding plus phone comms. The, the most professional experience known to man. In Party 5 we can't touch, because that's the- yeah, that's the buddy party. But we need to move either... We need to move the Scourge out of 4 and put it in 6. Like, Pigeon should go to 4, and then the Scourge should go to 6. No, because you don't want a Scrapper and a Scourge in Party 4, because they're both Barrier. They're just going to overlap. Nice! Let's go! Okay, I'll fix it. Okay, it's fixed. It's... It's messed up that I won't get LT when I ask for it, but I complain about parties for 45 seconds and then I get it immediately. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go now. <laughs> you piece of shit. Ah, that's fine. Honestly, it works out better this way. It's fewer responsibilities. Well, uh, LJ's outside bay, like bay catawall, southeast. It is, it's true. 
Do you think that plain Wi-Fi would actually be good enough to play Guild Wars on? Like, if you got, like, first-class Wi-Fi. I might have to explore that at some point. Follow-up question. Do you think that you would get kicked off of a flight for trying to command a world versus world squad mid-flight? Just, like, yelling your head off when another passenger is sitting next to you trying to, like, read a book or, like, get a work presentation done? I can't imagine that would be, like, a huge problem. <laughs> bomb on me on a plane. What's the problem? I don't think there's any problem. I think it'd be fine. I'm not gonna try it, but I look forward to someone else trying it and getting back to me. He did, he was watching part of the stream. He was here, he knows. Because I'm an entertaining streamer, of course he didn't fall asleep. That's right. Hell yeah, man. What's up, Mew? How you doing? Best Peglin streamer NA. Potentially one of the only Peglin streamers NA. According to what that category says every time I click on it. I should play more Peglin, man. It's a good idea. Those etches are still there, by the way. That's somebody. Interesting cata placement. Would these not just get mortared to pieces? What is going on up here? Okay, this is T4 and shield in front. Let me get my participation quick. Okay, I've achieved tags. I should be in party view, probably. Mm, I still have stab. I'm fine here. Stab is running low. They're gonna need uh, resistance to move. Tail good? Here. If you guys need a stun break, there you go. Hallowed circle, hallowed. Should be a pretty good hallowed. Give me an empower while I'm just chilling. Sin and Zara coming out of the tower. Here, I'll give you stab just so we can pull off this. I'll just give you a quick resistance here so we can actually move. Mm. Low stab, low stab, low stab. They're on it, man. I think we'll be fine here. I need to get a, um... Well, I need to get stab off, first of all. But an empower would also go pretty crazy. And then can I cover this with Aegis? I can. Can I pop some Condies off of people? I can. Can I sank deep to bully people? I can. I can get an interrupt out of it. Mm, yum, yum. Green is still, like, semi-alive. Good stomp. <laughs> Alright, we still remember how to play Firebrand. That's good. It's like riding a bike. We're doing our cleanses. Not... Great, but that's okay. It's like not really my job. No, I think it's just Azure. Saiga like doesn't run this really. I mean, he might have people in his guild running with Azure right now. Let's get this mortar out of the way. Here, I can help you by empowering.
That's a fast yak. I've got a line going down. I've got a. Oh, I'm not gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Come again. Pigeon, you're doing a great job on this mortar. Keep it up. Good job, Pigeon, specifically. Can you do this cannon too, by the way, while you're here? Just get this cannon quick here. I'll empower you. Oh, you haven't seen the way that Azure fights these days, have you? You haven't you haven't seen his meta yet. You'll you'll find out. Mm-hmm. Yep, they did that yesterday at North Camp. Yeah. He describes himself He describes himself as a siege guild now. No, it's not true, I made it up for fun. But it's accurate, though. It's not telling lies if you, like, make observations about the world around you. If you can splash the wall. <laughs> Just time your shot. You have a you have a window of opportunity here. That's going to hit them. Hey, <laughs> if it hits them, it should splash that wall, which is interesting. Going to have to update the how to siege bay guide. I've been revealed. This is... Oh, good. Sank didn't go off. That was such a waste of Sank. Here, I have one charge of Mantra. I'll have it back by the time it matters. There's <laughs> so many people getting pulled up there. Please, anyone get them out. Alright, am I going to need Stab soon? No, they're very far away. Super speed. Good sword five, sort of. Really getting close. Oh no, make the jump. Ballista's going down on the dock, Commander. Three, Ballista's going down on the dock, Commander. That's gotta be Azure right there, right? Nope. I'll know it's Azure because I can remove friend. Is he not gonna be on a hollow? I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find his ass. And then I'm going to be respectful. I've been scouting the dock for you, I told you. We'll be fine on the boat. Boat will protect us. The mortar is also dialing in on our location, Commander. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to say it wasn't that bad yesterday. Well, actually it was. Never mind. It actually was this bad yesterday. I just didn't engage with it as long. This was not our best fight yesterday. Our, We're not fighting S.H.I.E.L.D. right now. We're fighting Zara. <laughs> 
Also, when I fought S.H.I.E.L.D., S.H.I.E.L.D. actually pushed us. Our best fight against S.H.I.E.L.D. last night was when we tried to port into Necro. And my backup portal was late and I died. That was our best fight against S.H.I.E.L.D. No, that- no, no, that's not true. That's false information. I don't think there's anyone on JQET who faked eggs, to be honest with you. I think they're all respectful gamers. Is Bully not running rifle? Shield got out sieged. Give you stab so we can make it to this dock. The greediest reflect of your life. This is gonna be so sketchy. Hallowed on you. If you're in the tail, I can't help you. Thank God Stab is up. I'll leave a sank here for him to walk through. Immune, 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 immune. That's fine, I'm ripping Stab. The boat. Swiftness on boat. Dude, they could ruin our lives with a well-placed shield generator dome right now. We could all get knocked off of this boat. Mm, I can help with this. Hallowed on boat. Hallowed on boat. Cannon will die at least. Get the oil. Get the oil while you're here. Get that oil. Also, don't look now. We're about to get catted from left side. This is very interesting. There's some interesting things going on here. Mm -hmm. I scouted that. I told you they built that ghetto. Hallowed on boat. Hallowed on boat. I don't think the Treb can hit here. We're too close. I mean, I don't think anyone's ever tried to make that treb shot before, so... But they don't do anything. We don't have to kill them. They're going to kill these weird trebs. Oh, they're gonna push! Ah, I see. Let's put a line over here so they can't run. Well, I don't think it's really gonna be that necessary, though, but... I'll take a Courage. I'll take a 4. Tail looks fine. Is that Zara? That was removed friend! <laughs> that was Asher! Oh no. Oh, I didn't know it was him until I was like 3 quarters of the way through the stomp. <laughs> I was just like, no one's gonna come help me with this guy, I might as well stop it myself. I want to shout him out so badly, but I feel like it would be one of the most BM things that's ever been done, so I'm not going to. 
but you saw it. I didn't. You you saw it. I didn't mouse over him until I was like midway through the stop. I had no idea that was him. I've got like an ironclad alibi on that one. Oh, they're going to lose this bay. That's really unfortunate. There we go. I wonder if they've got a waypoint here, if they pulled it already. 12 minutes. Unlucky. Used it too early. That's me. I got one of these. We can find but report number of commanders stop. You need to talk to the devs on that one. You would have to figure out where to get that from the Arc DPS endpoints. Or I guess since Arc DPS endpoints are just pulling from in game data, you'd have to get uh in game data to identify whether a commander was pulled or not. Good blocks, good Aegis. Hallowed on you. I don't actually think I need to really go into tome on this or anything. And then I think True pulled him too. It's very toxic. Mmm, <laughs> hello. Have they taken this yet? No. I mean, we don't need to because they did all my weeklies already, but... Hello? Hello, banner. Hello, banner. I understand. I mean... That's fair. And also, like, when I'm on supports, I'm not even in squad view, but... Thank you. I think I did a great job, too. Good poll, good poll. Inside. I need to do swiftness, that's right. Now, oh, dude, that's the tag. They're just not following Commander. Go, Chef. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Senna, I've received a message. Uh, hold on, I'll show you in a minute. I've received a secret encoded message for you that I need to send you. Uh, NBN's in a very unfortunate spot here. Hallowed. This is really bad stab management. My party's fine on Condies. I do have resistance up. That's nice. And then we're good. Here, um, I have a secret encoded message for Senna. This message will self-destruct in three, in two, in one. This message is self-destruct. Honestly, Viper, I actually think he already knows. Because I play with Azure sometimes, and he can see it from my perspective. <laughs> uh, how much Azure likes to build Siege. I'll, I'll DM you. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
the the top line was where the fuck is that anet dev we need to and then the second line was talk about what is happening to this game mode <laughs> I think it's very interesting Azure is an innovator his tactics might not be popular but they are occasionally effective <laughs> if you listen on on your own head be it but if you if you did do that it would be very funny they really need to sit down with a few commanders roamers and teams to get some data they do on the back end they do do that a minute and a half ri by the way the problem is that, like, everybody in World vs. World wants different stuff. Like, you could talk to five different guilds, and five different guilds would tell you six different things that they want the game mode to do. So, it's a, a complex balancing act. They need to roll swiftness, by the way. He's gone. Good leap. He didn't have stab for it, either. If I'd been faster on that line, I could have gotten him. Small stab here. I don't need to give anything big. They're just gonna pull off. I don't want anyone getting yanked down the stairs. It's a problem. If they wind up here, they can't get back to us easily. NBN really not stacking with T4 here at all. But they're tiny. So, like, we have to focus on shield. We basically can't use any cooldowns on NBN. But we don't really have to worry about them. Because they're not big enough to make a huge difference. That's fine. I'll just... I'll, ch I'll chill here. This is not going to be a great hallowed, but I don't want people to get pulled out. And then here will be a decent courage. Give me a deep sank to get maybe a couple resistance procs. There's at least one. I saw one interrupt. Can I get a second one? No, they're all dead already. I'll take it. It's alright. And no RI. It's a free keep. Oh yeah, we can hear it. <laughs> it's pretty loud. He's got wireless headphones. He's going to refill his water. You can definitely turn when hear when the faucet turns on. Dude, you know what? No, here's here's what you need to do. You know what'd be so funny is you tell people that you're going to the bathroom and then you turn the faucet on and you're like, "Can you hear me?" It's like the most the most forceful stream. <laughs> Oh no. No enemies, no enemies. We're fine. I'll just dump a hallowed on this so we don't get knocked back again. I don't know what the animation looks like. I don't think they will either, no. We're gonna the the scary part is we're gonna have to push Gary to fight Green. And if this is how bad a T two Bay was and they've only held it for seven hours. Mm, it can be both. It's like movies, you know? Movies can be really bad, but also really entertaining. Like, you can you can not enjoy any of your time watching a movie, but then you finish the movie and you're like, eh, it was a good movie. Relink next week. Yeah, so we'll be... Yeah, Friday. Mm, wait. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, it's it's this this Friday is Relinks. Mm -hmm. Who are you hoping for? Aquila Lightbringer. Bacon. I don't know them. They're just a they're asking questions in say chat that are interesting. I wanted to know more about them. I really not have gathering tools? I do. I can't do either of those though. I need to be swiftness. I mean, NBN was like eight people, so. I think they might have been, but I don't know. I bet graves were up. We spent a lot of time at bay. Refresh my wrench. You think they're at home tower? Do you think if we hit Gary, they will leave home tower to defend it? Or do you think they will correctly know that they have time? Oh, blue. Uh, left side, left side, Reathless, left side. Left side. Greedy's line of all time. Oh yeah, base open already, holy cow. We're gonna lose bay. Commander, I think they're behind the rock in front. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't know, I saw like two people behind the rock. I thought they were being sneaky. Mm. Unfortunately, the wall's down already, so we can't repair it. This is green, that's true. And we could do minotaurs while they're here. Sir Shox is Red Lake and Squad Jet. I think there might be a group there. What is this? <laughs> he's, he's really out here playing this game like a tower defense. <laughs> That's crazy. What do you mean take a picture? I'm streaming. It's committed to video footage. Here I have a resistance field. I don't have page. Well, I do have pages to do this. I don't know where those came from, but whatever. Here I have swiftness. Good pump. Hallowed here. I need to swiftness here. This is so many shield gens, man. It's so many. Let's go real deep here. And then I've got a little extra stab for you, but not a ton. Condies are fine. Condies still fine. So many downs just everywhere. There we go.
dude, it's spawning yaks, too. I finished weekly dull yak denier. <laughs> this is great news. Take care of these. Tail, you guys okay? Sylvie, Sylvie, come on, Sylvie. Sylvie, come on. I, I don't know where he's finding it. Dude, honestly, my bigger my biggest concern isn't like supply, but like where's he getting the gold to buy this? They're all guild siege. Like, who's funding him? There's thousands of gold in this camp. There's tens of thousands. Oh, maybe that's why he's using these two specifically. That's true, he did build like four guild trebuchets on the hill twice. We still haven't actually flipped the camp, by the way. We've just killed all the siege. <laughs> How much are these? Guild Ballista. Guild Ballista. Oh, yeah, they're only like two silver. Never mind. There's got to be like a Blishout extension he's running that shows you the range of Siege overlapping so he knows exactly where to put it. Are you, are you tactically disrupting supply lines right now to starve them of their Siege? That's, that's great emergent gameplay. I I was there yesterday. It was impressive. Whoa. No, Yumi's on vacation. You could you could find out if you wanted. There's there's ways that you could find that out. Yeah, he yeah. But like maybe you're into that, I don't know. <laughs> he would. <laughs> This is you shouldn't you shouldn't talk about Yumi like this when he's not here to defend himself. <laughs> Don't look that bad, yeah. This is T three though. This camp has been held for two hours. Yeah, I'm I'm entering draw distance now. Ballista, attack activator, ballista, shield gen, shield gen, ballista, shield gen. Uh-huh, yep. This looks like an incomplete defense. We're striking at a good opportunity. Yeah. They have to have, like, an entire ten-man squad dedicated to refreshing siege. There's so much of it. It's crazy. Okay, there's that gone. God, he mean you hate it. Yeah, you can reach them while you cap. Think about how much time you save by doing your nodes while the ring is up rather than after the ring is done. You like how long it's been since I played Firebrand, by the way? It's been a long time. Some very good strategic, strategic gameplay going on here. To disrupt supply lines. I did, I did say that. You're welcome. It's still, like, not actually better than what we had yesterday, but... 
What do you mean? We fought literally the same groups. <laughs> That's true. They're not on Lord yet. We have time to respond to this. You don't mean that. <laughs> oh my god. It's There's so much lag in front right now, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to do swiftness. Okay, there is still a group here. Okay. I'm just gonna super speed here. I'm getting in combat with random stuff. <laughs> okay, I didn't think that's what he was gonna do, but alright. I know who that is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's he's on a he's on a reconnaissance mission right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sana, you've been scouted, by the way. Intelligence has been gathered on your location. How's my tail doing? Ooh, good cat shot. Where is he? Oh my god, I'm going to be so late. Good luck to my party. I hope someone else gets you stabbed. <laughs> this is also not where I thought he was going to go. Uh, I'm going to leave a sank behind here. I can clear like a couple condies. And then I can put a reflect behind and that's also going to be stability. Tyrion is doing it out there, man. Mm, actually, maybe he's dying. I'm not sure. I think he's dying. Oop, good pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspect him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got him. Inspecting. Oh, yeah, I still have standard models on. <laughs> Never mind. You're safe this time. Julie's out. She, she got pulled out. That's probably my fault that she got pulled out because I don't think I actually had Indama. I did not. Okay, that's on me. That's my bad. Julie, did you live? I know you're in my party and I should know that, but I figured it was just faster to ask you. Yeah. There's a lot of reasons that I should have just known that. You did not accidentally jump out. You got knocked out. Okay, that one is because I was like miles in the tail because I got hit by a mortar and I was extremely in combat. But, okay, it's true though. It's not an excuse if it's true. No, 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 no. No, I feel like you should be rewarded for telling the truth. I... I was raised by I was raised like the right way. My family said that if you tell the truth then people can't be mad. That's unlucky it's for you, I guess. <laughs> I should build these rams. I accidentally got on a ram instead of building it. Can somebody uh, never mind, I'll just man it. No, I don't fucking care. I was born to be on this ram.
All right, your stab was good because like I'm not in your party to be shit at it. I can just like hop off and F2. No, 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 I can do it. I'll be okay. Don't worry. When your banner expires, I'll drop a halid. Okay, I'm dropping a halid. I got pulled. There you go. I'm stand I'm standing. Actually, I'm not. I still have 20 supply. Dude, they don't know that I have all the supply. They still have 240 supply here. No, it's no longer an allied projectile if it gets reflected. So you wanted to know what it would look like inside? They're being depleted. They're losing supply. It's very close to being over for them. Couple ACs. Mm. I'll just be like a hyper aggressive firebrand if you don't mind. Uh, who told you this? Who told you a lie on the internet? This needs to be in Dom for my stab. They're not going to be able to repair this. This could be construed as bullying. <laughs> Never mind. Nobody walked into it. I still have 14, don't worry. Oil might have dumped one time as well. Uh, I don't think we did. No, maybe we did kill the oil. I don't know. I'm just going to keep Allied rolling. Damn, what video was that? Ooh, I almost got pulled out. Oh, it's not a pull, it's a mortar shot. We're good, we're good, we got everyone. I'm going to the gate. Oh wait, I have 14 supply, I should not do that. That <laughs> would have been really bad. Enjoy the heals. I will hand raise. Is any of this mine? This is mine. This food was made for me. Hand raising tail. Tail's fine. All power. Good pull. I'm actually kind of glad that Senna is playing with, I should stab here, with uh, SBI right now and not us, because this actually feels like 
a pretty easy cap so far. Like, we haven't been pushed, which is an issue, but SBI doesn't have the court. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm talking myself out of it. Like, Asher's group is not good enough to push us. That's not like a disrespectful statement. I'm just saying that he needs to fight us and bomb at the same time. We're comped. We're like 45. That's a tough fight to take, but he also doesn't need to kill us. He just needs to kill one or two of us. And if he kills one or two of us every push, we're not getting back in here because we're all the way at the north part of the map. We'd need to commit the entire Zerg to running to where people are coming in, and if we're moving the entire Zerg to where people are coming in, that's just an opportunity to hit at the tail again. Our movements around the keep are going to make us vulnerable. And I feel like that is the way that defense is going to be working in this new meta. This new 50% repair meta. But I don't really think he's successfully employing that strategy at this point. We'll see if he does. Like, one thing's for sure. I don't think that you can defend a keep just by building a ton of siege and then manning it. So, like, this, 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 but this and not this is a strategic mistake that is not going to work in the new meta. You have to push. You can't just hide behind a wall and build, and build siege forever. And I do wish that he would push us once or twice, even if he's going to lose that fight. Because if he can down even just a couple of us off of every push, his spawn is right here. Our spawn is all the way down here. There are walls in between us and him. Especially because we went in through this wall, we didn't even go in through, like, northeast. So, I don't know. That's my thoughts currently, but... I'll have to watch his VOD later to see what exactly his perspective is on the way this keep cap is working. Because he still does have one more option, and his last option is to fight us on Lord. Which he's going to have to do at this point. Because he's not killing these rams. There's no disables going out. There's no push going out. They're, they're simply going to live. Sounds on inner. Empowering. He dropped behind? Oh, blue dropped behind. I understand. This is going to overlap my stab pretty badly. We also kind of... Oh, we didn't. They're over here. Hallowed, 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 hallowed. Punts, punts, punts. Give me shield. Immunes? Eh, that was too slow. Okay. That's a veil. I'm going to need stab up for that. I'll just put a reflect on us. It's going to get some numbers. It's a lot of numbers, actually. I'm going to roll a barrier here. You guys are good. I should have five seconds before he decides to move again. Alright, kill more siege. Line, pull. a lot of downs. Oop. Yeah, roof is pretty populated right now. I should just full stab this. We're going to be on this bridge for a long time. It's going to buy me like 10 seconds. We're really just watching this pillar right now. 
about to expire from my party, I really don't want to put Courage on cooldown. So I guess I'll cover it. Oh, that's my last charge. That's really bad. I didn't realize that I was on my last charge. But now I can do this, and then we're good for another 10 seconds. And then I can hallow out, out here so we don't get pulled out. And that should be fine. We're fine here. Who's outside? It's not my party, it's not my problem. They thought we were going to come through middle gate, apparently, and then we didn't. Like, these are these are insane middle gate door trips. You wouldn't be able to stay on a ram at all. That is really unlucky, yeah. <laughs> the problem with setting up that many door trips is that you can simply scout the door. And then be like, I'm not going to set up my C tier. And then blue is fighting outside. So this is Asher's opportunity to kill blue without us interfering. He needs to white blue here and get them out of the keep so that he can regroup and then deal with us without having to worry about blue. So that is a must win fight for him right now. Otherwise he is going to have some major issues with both of us being in this objective at the same time. And I don't know who's won that fight. But this is good for him. He's losing two random people over here. I do see you. I don't know if you think that I don't see you, but I do see you. And then I will taunt you. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be a bad taunt. <laughs> Plus twos. Blue plus twos. So shield is winning that fight. Blue plus twos. Yeah, that is a that is a one fight for blue. That is not good for Zara. That's really not good for Zara. They're all here. But then they're going to pull out. Swiftness. I don't need to stab here. A lot of blue plus twos. He's killing people coming in. Mm, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> hallowed. It's not a great hallowed, but I'll make it work. And then once tab expires, like right now, we end on. Four, five, one. We drop our book. We need to stun break here. And then we can stab. And then I just kind of... Oh, that's a lot of condies. That's a ton of condies. Uh, I can help with that. Low stab, low stab. It's, he knows, I can't do anything about it. You have stand your ground up, stand your ground ready. This is a good push from him, this is the opportunity he needs to take, because we're low-ish right now. Oh, but he has not formed up. That's not his whole squad. This is all just too, this is cloud. Come on, 
If he's formed up with a good push, I think that's his opportunity to actually get us out of here, but it looks like he wasn't quite ready for it. Mine didn't. Mine's good. Mm, let's make sure Tail's okay here. There we go. World's deepest line. I got cabled. I've been cabled directly into Lord's room. Anything up on roof? Nothing on roof. Northwest up top. Uh, I found it. I found it. I found it. It's like above me. I got numbers up here. Yeah, I got numbers up here. I think there's something up there. Mm, there's definitely a structure too. Mm, that might have been a player. It gave me a plus two when it died. Come on, Lord. Don't worry, Commander. I'll command down here. I've got this. Mark with an arrow. That's here. Like here? A lot of numbers up there. I'm empowering underneath it. Yeah. I got numbers on something. You're blind. Oh, there's a group bonus. Good stealth bomb from him. We reacted too quickly, though. Like, if he was able to do that when uh, we were busy fighting blue, like, if he came through portal with a mass invis and trucked into us while we were fighting blue, that would have been a severe issue. But I think he's waited a little too long for the opportunity. We're way too stacked up now. Foxy hitting Firekeep on home BL. That will be your content for the next hour, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even remember that I fought Foxy last night. We had we had fights last night. I'm tired of you guys gaslighting me. Being like, oh, tonight is so much better already. No, but it's like things to do. I've had worse. E waypoint fire. Oh my god, it's perfect timing. <laughs> the hell? Why can't I see it? You can see E waypoints from a different map, can't you? Maybe not? I don't know. Come on, M2. Come on, M2. Oh, I can still take it. 
I'm taking it. It's not hot yet. It's not hot yet. It's not hot yet. Uh, it's hot now that I made it through the UA point. You know what? Actually, this is kind of fine. <laughs> I don't know how, but I think we're good. Hello. Who who said that it was hot? This shit is not hot. I'm still alive. It was not hot. I didn't even have to take a second waypoint. How'd you respawn all the way down here, though? Too many resurrectors. We're good. We are winning tonight, Dad. I guess. <laughs> We're doing it. I've been so busy, I couldn't even finish my mango. I'll have to do it after stream. Nodes. You have an axe and a pick. You can do this one. Mildly spicy at best? That's what I'm saying. I don't think I ever got below like 30% health. Other people just need to dodge when they come through the UA point. That was blue. Oh, did you die? What's up? What happened to you? You look alive to me. You're... He's alive and mounted. What is wrong with him? What happened to you, Kami? Did you fuck up your glide and then you just like wanted someone else to save you? Well, what were you doing in there? That's not where I would have been. Just don't go in the lava. The greens have been really good in this matchup at knowing where the commander is. I went to EBG for like three minutes yesterday and I had 30 greens on me. Mm. Oh, for here. Yeah, there's no, there's no queue. Yeah, tonight is a tonight's a night to command for the realm. Is that what we're calling? The, oh, okay, okay. I thought this was like a new name for party one or something. Kami, please stand in my symbols if you want swiftness. I can't. I dropped a symbol on tag, and you were not in it. Symbol at the end of the bridge. What does it say about my party that only I got swiftness in my party when I put a symbol on Ruthless's tag? Don't worry, I'll wait. I'll wait for the answer. Don't worry. Okay, I didn't hear it. Sorry, I was talking <laughs> instead. <laughs> I didn't like the answer, so... Yeah, that's true. That's pretty true. I miss Julie. I'm glad Julie's back. I was getting too powerful. I'm glad that she's back. For real, though, like, be on tag, though. 
<laughs> Why? The party should be on tag. I'm not going to reward bad behavior. Yeah, I do. I reward myself with symbols because I'm on tag. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna have to respond to that fast if he's got seven golems. They would not do a fa yeah, he's a good scout. He pulled the waypoint a little late and it was kinda hot, but like not that hot. But it's a trustworthy scout. Add him to the book. Sorry, add them to the book, I don't know. Are there any people with the golems, or is it like just seven golems and nobody else? I'm just asking questions, man. Because, like, technically it's still a correct scout call. Dude, I'm gonna... I'm gonna start calling when I see, like, catas and ramps that aren't manned and be like, Hey, there's four catas on this keep. Mm. Yes. Take no advantage of lava. It did. Who did it? Somebody at that sentry took it right when we needed it. Uh, they're going up the stairs through North Inner Gate right now. I sniffed. It is more than seven golems, by the way. Oh, they abandoned them. Oh. Free XP. There are still some golems active, Commander. They're stacked around the corner right now. I'm going to look. Uh, yeah, they're stacked real tight. <laughs> I need to stab this. <laughs> that was a clever idea, but we noticed it too quickly. It was a good idea. A good idea that needed a little extra execution. It's a really good idea from him. Did you just refer to a CO as a winning server? Dude, Rawls, Rawls egos. There's a second group. I'm not gonna dodge. I trust myself. <laughs> I trust my own stability. I had like eight stacks at that point. Yum, yum. They could have gotten it too because you were busy here. Ink Foxy going up ramp, by the way, map jet. Northwest Tower gone, by the way. Ara, what I've been doing to learn Firebrand is I've been doing I've been giving stability, but I haven't been dodging, and then if I get CC'd, I know that I needed to apply more stability. That's been my firebrand training tonight. What do you mean? Describe how it's bad. I'm working on cover boons. Which I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Why would I apply to stability to like somebody who just stands in a null field without dodging? That's not my job. If I see it blinking, sure, but like if I press stand your ground and then I look at you and you have no pillar, that's not my problem anymore. Yeah. 
That's fine. There's a lot of shit that's my fault, but it's not my problem. I'm okay with that. I'll still sleep at night. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't. But I was I was asked to be here, so my presence on Firebrand tonight was specifically requested. I can't say no. Julie, what if you made a Firebrand? Then I wouldn't have to. Oh, do you wanna do you wanna trade? There's no queue. Oh, there is a one queue. Never mind. We can't trade. You're saved this time. <laughs> Are you interested in being a Necro class lead? Because, like, I'm a little busy. Well, so I, I actually think that I'm starting to see Julie's perspective here, because if you make legendary armor, you could theoretically use it on a profession that's not Necro, which means that it's actually, like, not Necro gear. Like, if, if Julie made legendary light armor, then she might also get asked to play, like, Chrono or Tempest, and that's not compatible with being a Necromaid. Yeah. So, actually, by, like... By only gearing exotics that are soulbound, you actually can't reuse the gear. Yes, I did. <laughs> I think I took, like, five keeps yesterday and probably defended four. That's impressive that you got it already. Mm, we should probably wrangle some of this. Free tower identified. No, get me over the rock. Oh no, I'm not there. Mine. Stab. The root claims another victim. They're dropping out up top. The root is good. It builds character, man. Just jump over it for it. Final destination, no items, ass, world versus world, man. If you want perfectly flat terrain to fight on, why don't you just go to, like, Middle Island and EOTM and never leave? What? Middle Island and the OTM spot. It's the old GVG spot. Before they added the arena. Do you imagine if they release like a world versus world guild decoration vendor and you could buy the root so that you could put it in your guild hall? You could buy all your favorite world versus world terrain? I, I will defend that route for the rest of my life. I love that route. That, I love that route. I don't want to suggest that there's like a skill issue going on, but... I did. I have to feel like you did that intentionally. Uh-huh. The route came out of nowhere, yep. The okay, if we're gonna talk about terrain that actually sucks, the the lip at the top of the stairs on North and South Firekeep Lord, that place sucks, man. Oh hi chef, what's up, Astrid? How you doing? Just two and a half RI. I'm actually done with the axe, but I'm actually done with the axe lapper too, but 
It's XP. It's 2024, actually. Oh. Help, I'm stuck on a root. Help, Commander, help in the tail. There's a root. I will. I cannot wait to... <laughs> uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been saying, man. I had terrible gun tonight. TM and Panky were fighting on a queued map. Oh, that's not the best. Those are big groups, too. We have had interesting content. I think we've spent more time fighting Siege than players. We're dealing with uh, SBI deploying interesting strategies. Hoping for the patch of another freeway like Monday. Yeah, it's it's hard to wrangle sometimes. The honestly, like a lot of these matchups seem really weird this week. Like the SOS Blackgate Maguma matchup is weird. This matchup is super weird. The JQ FADB matchup. I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like nobody really likes the fights that they have this week for some reason. They can't. They're like tucked into a corner of Lord's room where they have no visibility. Mm, stability's almost gone. I'm just gonna roll resistance here and we'll be fine. Hallowed on you. Did you say just come and die? <laughs> uh. Uh. I'll empower. There's bound to be a worse gospel combination. That's true. This just might be it. This might be like, you know, some Mercury and retrograde the world versus world matchup shit. Good defense. What is resing this guy? Uh, he's he's gone. Uh, he's he's south. Okay. Conk, was this everything you wanted in raid tonight? Okay. I don't know. I haven't I haven't looked at Ark in like an hour and a half. I'm on support tonight. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did you have fun though? That's what counts. Like what was your fun per hour like? I feel like Arc DPS should add like a fun per second bar where you self report what your fun per second was at the end of a fight and then we can all look at it. That's true. I only played World of Warcraft to get like top flight esports sponsorships and when I didn't I quit. I was like Classic WoW was not fun, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I would find out, but they only turned it on for my main account, so I can't like transfer an alt here and find out. For mm, yeah. Yeah, where are you where are you going? Did Zeke and Elsie get back to me? They did. I would go say hi to Saika. I don't even need to transfer servers to do that. I've got an SBI account. Art Blue, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Zeke and Elsie did get back to me. I have their information. They're in the folio. I have um a calendar. So like I, I set up a Chef Plays Games at Gmail. That's been the business account for a while. The business account, right? But um, I, I set that account up. I started a Google Calendar, and for every guild that has given me the okay for yes, you can stream with us, I have added them to a gigantic calendar. So the plan is that after I've done like my scouting runs, because I don't want to... The first time I play with a guild is not going to be the first time I stream with that guild, because I want to get the vibes down first. But once I have the vibes, then I can just look at the calendar and I can be like, okay, it's, you know, 10.45 p.m. Who's currently running? Who can I drop in with? And then there's a separate spreadsheet that is, I mean, based on the questions that I ask, it's basically like, what overlay do I need to use? Do I need to use the chat cover overlay, the arc DPS cover overlay, and the squad UI overlay? And then also, like, can I turn can I turn the comm source off or on? So it should be pretty smoothed out once I've actually finished all the reconnaissance on that. I'm still kind of building the folio out, but it's good. We're we're laying the groundwork for actually being able to like do some interesting stuff with it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing you guys as well. The time is going to be like spread super thin. Because in addition to all these different NA groups that I want to play with, I can also now transfer to uh, EU. And there's also a bunch of OCX and C groups that I want to get some experience with. Because that's a bit of a blind spot for me, playing in that time slot. So like really for any guild that is not KNT, I would not expect to see me more than like once a month. Maybe twice a month if you're lucky. But it'll be good to be able to drop in on some people who, historically, I have had trouble playing with. Basically, just like getting lucky with server pairings and hoping that it works out. And I've got, I've got stuff in the pipeline. I think what I'm probably going to do is... Um, there's a video that I wanted to make before I got partnered. And basically, I wanted to make a video and call it What Can a World vs. World Partner Do for the Game Mode? And kind of run through some ideas that I had for, like, how can a ANET sanctioned streamer, an ANET sanctioned content creator, bring exposure and visibility to the game mode, tell stories, get people onboarded, because, you know, the World vs. World doesn't really have a tutorial system. And I wanted to make that video as a way to kind of like, I don't want to say apply pressure because that sounds like manipulative, but I wanted to bring focus to what the partner program could do if it was active. The problem with that plan being that I didn't really expect to get partner and I definitely did not expect to get partner this quickly. And I don't actually have like any of that video done. I was going to put it at like the end of May on my on my content schedule. So I'm like way, way ahead on that. And now I think I need to revise what it is. But I think what I'm going to revise it into is the three things that I actually want to do as a partner. And I wrote these down. Let me go pull it up again. Holy cow, it's a lot of DMs. I'll worry about that later. Uh, three things that I want to do as a partner. Number one. People are upset about restructuring, destroying server communities, which is a fair criticism of what that system is going to do. 
And so before restructuring goes live, I would like to make a series of YouTube videos, one per server, that are titled uh, The History of Fill in Server Name Here in World vs. World. That take the form of like 10 to 20 minute mini documentaries about the history of these servers over like, you know, the 10, 11, 12 years of World vs. World. And it's just people talking like, yeah, you know, I was on SOS in 2013 and like, here's what it was like, here's the guilds that were here. I was on SOS in like 2018, here's what it was like in 2018, the rivalries that we had. Uh, I was in a guild that used to be on SOS, we transferred. Here's what it was like when we transferred and all that kind of stuff. So that's number one. Number two is I would like to find a way to turn some of my streams into World vs. World onboarding. Which is probably just going to be like... I mean, I would call it Warclaw Wednesdays, but the Wednesdays are already kind of spoken for for K&T, so I'm going to have to come up with something else more clever. Maybe like, you know tutorial Thursday or something similarly cheesy. That's basically just like I tag up on a random server and I go get a bunch of people work law. And then the third idea is I would like to start a world versus world centric podcast because I don't think quietly has any intentions of resurrecting say chat anytime soon. Criff has state of the mists on hiatus and Indo, I've talked to Indo on the back end. He is still doing uh, Commander Roundtable. But it sounds like it's going to be on a somewhat irregular schedule. And so I'd like to set up something that's more regular, that's just like, you know, a weekly or bi weekly community conversation about what is going on in World versus World. And all three of those things are kind of enabled by my ability to move around to different servers, get access to different communities, talk to different people. So I'm I'm excited to finally start like laying some of the groundwork for that and start developing those plans out. I think if I can make it work, it'll be a lot of fun and hopefully really interesting for people too. And one of the things that we can do as partner is we can put that kind of stuff on the main channel. So we can do like main Guild Wars 2 channel hosts, which there's pros and cons to it. Like, the pros is that the audience is bigger, but the cons is that there's a not insignificant amount of Guild Wars 2 players who actually just don't like World vs. World and don't play World vs. World. And I have heard stories from other partners that when you try to talk about specialized topics on the main channel, things like raids or fractals or strikes or World vs. World or PvP, a not insignificant portion of your audience is just like, this game mode sucks. Why are you talking about this game mode? No one cares about this game mode. Which is fine, because I already deal with that in World vs. World anyways, and also you can just like decide to not read people's chats if you don't want to. So, I think for sure I would like to stream on the main channel at least once or twice, just to like, get a feel for it. But I have been privately told by a few people that it tends to not really be worth, and you don't get a lot of value out of it. So, we'll see how that goes. Thanks for the follow, by the way, Thalarg. 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 Thalargy. No, you would have capitalized the G if you wanted it to be Thalargy. I'm going to go with Thalarg. Sounds like a good orc name. Anyone who pushes in, it's over. You! You've been deleted. Don't worry, I got him. I put a I put a proactive line down. He had no he had no idea what awaited him. <laughs> good, 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 good. You're on weekly classes for guildies and friends. A lot of the world versus world news is peer to peer. Yeah, I, there's some there's some niches to fill. I mean, with the training in particular, like, I think a lot... It, it's, it's a conversation that I've had with people in a lot of different channels, is that training isn't dead in World vs. World, but public training is basically dead. Everybody who used to do public training has basically said, like, this is not worth it in terms of my time investment for people who might just, like, 
quit or transfer servers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the neat thing about me as a partner is that I don't really like have a server alliance. So I can adopt the perspective of immediately queued. So I can adopt the perspective of I don't have like a guild alliance. I don't even have like a server alliance as a partner because I can go anywhere I want, which means that the value that I get out of doing trainings is I get people interested in the game mode and then later I get to fight them no matter what server I'm on because I can go anywhere to fight against them or with them. It's actually something that I would like to enlist Kiyoshi in as well because he does like raid trainings and I'm sure he has a ton of experience on like how to think about doing that process. I can go to servers that are full as well. You know, let's honestly, let's find out right now. Because this map is not queued and I can get back here. Uh, I'll BRB one minute. Let's, let's go, let's go find out. So world selection, sort by full. I can't, interesting. I'm gonna have to talk to my contact about that. And then the other thing I want to find out, let's go to GOM. I will be logged out, that's fine. Okay. Hopefully the demand isn't super high. <laughs> Otherwise, I should have transferred to the link. I'm stupid. I should have transferred to HOD because then I could have just logged back in immediately. Oh well, we'll transfer back to FA. Oh, I wasn't thinking. All right, uh, Ford Aspenwood. It's gonna be a high, very high. Yeah, transfer. Transfer. Let's find out if we still get pips. The full server isn't a huge issue because I can transfer to the link. So really like functionally, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter that I can't go to Blackgate, I can just go to Blackgate's link. And there's no circumstance where a group would ever be, or a, a server pairing would ever be full full. I will always have access to at least one server in the pairing. The pips question is more interesting. I guess we'll find out. When's next tick? Uh, minute 24, but we weren't here for the full tick, so it's not going to matter. We'll have to wait another five minutes after that. We will not get pips in a minute 15, but it's because we joined in the middle of the skirmish. It only works in NA since some EU worlds don't have a link. The EU worlds that are unlinked are then always kind of full by default, right? Because they're the ones that are solo. That's true. Okay, I... Yeah, I might, I might ping the contact that I have about that, because that would be a minor issue. Yeah, Whiteside Ridge doesn't have a link. Okay, that's that's something that I will want to have a conversation about. I did like two runes, but I didn't finish them. Okay. And then we can do two more on Friday and then we'll be done. I suspect the answer when I ask is going to be like no comma for reasons, but we'll see. That is an issue because I did want to event. It's going to be like so much time, and I don't have any experience in EU, so I'm really going to have to rely on other people to tell those stories. But I wanted to do the same history of a server series for EU as well as NA. All right, this tick will give us pips unless we get punished for transferring. We'll find out. What I think, based on the fact that I can't go to full servers, is that it is basically just a flag on my account that says you can transfer anytime you want and the cost is always zero. Queued immediately again. 
but that the cost is just zero. But you still lose the pips. That's my suspicion. We'll find out. We will see. I don't think I'm going to get pips on the next tick. Um, dude, are you looking at where I am on the minimap? I'm already there, man. I'm gone. No, I'm on the same map, but I'm Q3 EBG. You think I'm going to, like, AFK to go to the bathroom? If people leave map, we can respond. Otherwise, we can't fit. Red BL was queued last time we were on it. It'll fracture squad. It's true. Uh, I have, like, basically not told anyone, so they probably don't. There's people on FA who, like, actually don't know that I make videos on the internet, so <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Ah, uh, you don't want to watch them, they're not that good. Hello, Anet partner from Fallen, aka it's Kiyoshi underscore. How are you? What? Goodbye, Kyoshi. I hope you come back after you disconnect. Are you still typing in Team Jet? Dude, get his packet lost and then post it live on stream in his chat. You won't. Mm. Weekly Rune Runners complete. I will be leaving forever now. Goodbye. No, I'm not going to get Bloodlust. Bloodlust is cheating. Did you see what they did to uh, the Presence of the Keep? I'm not telling anybody, anybody about how strong Bloodlust is. They're going to remove that shit from the game. Tick in one minute twenty. Unless I missed one? I don't know. I might have stopped paying attention. <laughs> I might have zoned out. One minute ten seconds to next tick. We got distracted by runes. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I lost focus. About to lose focus on graves again. Watch me. Graves are up, by the way. If you're still on the old map, I'm popping graves. Chill. Don't worry. I'll deliver them to you personally. Thanks, noted Anet Partners, Kyoshi underscore. Ah, I'm good. I still got my credit. Thirty seconds. Ish. I don't want to I don't know what's in those things, man. I'm not gonna open them. They might just flood my inventory with a bunch of crap. I'll sell a bunch of greys instead. The other thing, by the way, that we'll be doing on the channel as a result of Partner is uh, I receive a allowance of gems. I can say that for gem giveaways that I do, the gems are sponsored by ArenaNet, which means that I will be doing giveaways. I need to get a bot set up for it. I am still selfishly going to save a couple of the gems for myself to get some account upgrades, but we'll be doing some world versus world centric giveaways. Things for like Warclaw Mount Skins, things for uh, like Armistice Bastion Passes, we'll probably give away like a couple legendary weapons, depending on how expensive they are. But I will have the capacity to do a series of Anet sponsored giveaways, which will be fun. That's all the details I have so far, because I don't actually know how the system works. Did I get pips? By the I forgot to check again. Hang on. I'm still getting... I'm, I'm getting pips. 
that is not where that bar was last time. It was lower than that, right? Hold on, I'm gonna roll the roll the VOD back. I'm going to check the VOD. I got distracted again. <laughs> it's it's my fault. What do you want me to say? Uh oh, God, where am I? Channel? Yeah, channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, go to my own VOD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here, this is it. Take me to like a minute ago. That's four thirty. We're so close. That's four thirty-seven. Yeah, I do still get pips. Wow, okay. I didn't expect that. So, uh, free transfers. And I can't go to full servers, but I do still get pips. Good to know. What's up, Amy, by the way? How you doing? Am I just learning about my powers? I'm not just learning about my powers. I am applying my powers for the first time. You know, like how when you're a wizard, you read a spell book and you're like, okay, I can do that spell now, but then you actually like cast the spell and you're like, oh, that's how that shit works? That's what we're doing. We're casting the spells. Thank you, by the way, Emmy Raiders. Thank you. Welcome. Noted X world versus world main Emmy.exe. Things she may or may not tell you about on her channel, but also things that are true nevertheless. Semi-pro, semi-retired, world versus world, main, and arena net partner, emmy.exe. You're watching us be in queue for EBG currently? It's riveting gaming. <laughs> is my commander still there? He is, okay. Dude, my queue is one. Hold on. My queue is almost... But I'm gonna make it, man. It's not bugged. I'm gonna make it. I was Q3 when I started. It's moving. That's not... Don't listen. They're lying to you. People are really going to lie to your face and you're going to believe them. I'm going to make it in. But also, there's a lot of people behind me. So, if you wanted to keep playing today, you might want to do something else. Hey, this is the point that I arrived at yesterday. Where I was like, man, what the hell do I do now? I've defeated every group. So I waited, I, I tried to do this last night, I waited for like half an hour, and then we got in. Apparently whatever group is usually on EBG will like eventually take down. Or lose it, yeah. Oh god, Maguma, I better swap matchup for free. I don't mind Maguma. Like, this is a common take on this channel. It's not as bad as people think it is. It's not good. You're not like, oh boy, Maguma, I can't wait to have like good GVG quality content this week. Like, it's still cloud, but it's not that bad. They show up, they fight. You can compete. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I got excited? Sorry. Sorry, I'll dial it back in. Yeah, guess who it is, asshole? It's me. I'm in. Q bug my ass. Okay, whatever. It's Cobian. Whatever, I'm on EBG, doesn't matter to me. Let's go fight these bad men. You you, me and like ten other people. Oh yeah, you're right, sorry. OJ's by the way, there's OJ's on map. You just dislike clouds, you prefer when it's organized groups fighting. Well the trick is to turn the cloud into an organized group. If you, like, line of sight them around a corner and you force them to, like, move through chokes, then they, if you, like, close your eyes and you, like, tilt your head kind of to the side, they start to look like an organized group and you're like, I could conceivably draw wells on this, and then you do and you receive bags. And then, like, immediately when you push, they scatter in all directions at the same time. But for that one push, you have the opportunity to, like, cast your wells on a group. And that feels good. It's, it's positive in many ways. Hi, Pop, so there's never a dead map. The content's different? Yeah, it's just, it's different content. And you have to adapt to it. I, the thing that I actually like fighting about Maguma is you have to adapt your tactics because it's so different. When you're fighting, like, the, there's differences in fighting a 50-man Zerg that is not comped and is, like, a bunch of dudes who are, like, on tag but aren't actually on builds versus like a 25-man group 
that is good and comped versus like 40 to 50 cloud that aren't actually following a tag at all. Those are three fights with really different textures in terms of the ways that you have to approach them as a commander. And it's kind of fun adopting different strategies to, to figure out how to break those groups apart. Like if you were watching yesterday when we were fighting Fabian, you could see the approaches that I was having to take to like, Fabian is big enough and good enough to not just let you walk into him and spike once and kill all of his players. You have to push once, kill all the people who aren't paying attention, pull off, regroup, and then like kill the rest of his 30 players. And that's a strategy that like isn't going to work against Cloud because you don't kill 15 people and you push Cloud, you kill like three or four. And it's also not a group that's going to work against like a comped enemy group because if you push into a comped enemy group, then they also push and like they'll kill you. So I don't know. I like I like the tactics evolution. It's par also part of why I think this patch is so interesting, though, is because it's going to force people to adapt to different ways of like attacking and defending. Try to range your 1200 so you let them, then you peel in the opposite direction. Yeah, exactly. Like you, you force the people who want to greed on your tag to pull closer than they should be, and then you snap back on it and you kill them, and then you do the same thing. And the thing that people don't really like about Maguma is that's the fight style. You just kind of do that until one side gets bored. And some people don't like the constant kite and snap back. They want a fight to end at like a definitive spot rather than just farming bags forever, which I get. There are some nights when I'm like, I don't really want to do that myself, but I just feel like as somebody who is committed to making videos about how to command effectively in world versus world, it benefits commanders to know that you do have things that you can do as the tag not even as the comp but like as the tag to be more effective against those styles of fights or drag them to choke ogre gates near ogre watch ogre gates near ogre watch are a great one i also enjoy uh the north and south chokes in air keep like the air keep lord you go out north you go in north you go out south you go in south those are great for breaking line of sight. You force people to come down the tunnels. You kill them. Uh, Alpine BL, you basically just like hide behind the gate to Lord and just farm them as they come in. There's lots of different points that you can take. Uh, bay is a good one. Like Bay, you go all the way back up into the rafters, like up the stairs in the back of Lord's room. You make them come into Lord's room and then you push out, you catch a couple of them, but Bay Lord is a difficult spot to fight Cloud because it's a pretty open Lord's room. Firekeep is also a really nasty spot to try and fight Cloud. It's just so open. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people would agree with you. Aster. And it's a question of, you know, there's some groups that are like, we tag up on these days, I'm going to make the best of the time that I have with my friends. Like, we raid for three hours, so I'm going to play for three hours. And then there's groups that log on and they're like, I haven't found any organized fights. After 15 minutes, you guys want to go do in-houses, and then if nobody wants to do in-houses, they tag down. And it's literally like a 15-minute raid just because there's no groups. There's definitely a spread of approaches to like how people played when they are fighting. Yeah, Anthe's ditching, man. She's ditching. If the options were PPT or a cloud, you choose fighting a cloud. See, that's where we're different. If the options for me are choosing fighting, uh, choosing PPT or a cloud, I would do weeklies and then I would fight the cloud. Y'all leaving a lot of gold on the table by not doing your weeklies. I'm just saying. That's eight gold a week that Anet wants to give you for free. And you're just out here saying, no, I don't need my free eight gold. I don't need my free ten keys per week for gambling. You already do your weeklies in day one. Okay, you have a different problem. Your problem is you need to pace yourself, because a week is a long time. <laughs> 
you gotta you gotta spread those out so that people have a reason to come to your raid on day two. Otherwise, you're gonna raid on day one. You're gonna have like a fifty-fifty squad. Everyone's gonna finish their weeklies, and then day two, you're gonna have tumbleweeds blowing through your parties. You gotta keep the people wanting more. You ever noticed I'll be like, oh, let's flip this rune for weeklies, and then I'll take one rune for the whole night, and then like pretend that I forgot? I didn't pretend. It was strategic. <laughs> Why do you have to do weeklies if you just get spoiled by giveaways? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one is that um, you're not guaranteed to win the giveaways. Holy cow, there's a lot of blue plus twos in here. Commander, I don't see... Oh, never mind. The build site's loaded for me. That was weird for a minute. <laughs> I saw the nameplates, but I did not have interactables. I'm good. I got it. <laughs> Easy. Just fight in skill lag and then flip it. Have all of the non-destructible objectives go away. So, reason one is that, like, you're not guaranteed to win. Reason two is that I might forget to do giveaways. Reason three is that uh, steady fixed income is better than irregular income. Because you can more easily plan around it. So, like, if you've got bills to pay, if you have to pay your guild dues, because, like, you know, PVDs come and knock and being like, where's my three gold per week to pay for ascended food? I tell you that, you know, if you're gonna hang on, this is a little busy. Thanks for the thanks for the sub by the way, Pebcak. I appreciate it. I'll be with you in a second. It's really it's really busy in here. Hallowed on you, hallowed, hallowed, hallowed. Let's see. What do I what are my options here? I don't have reflex. I can put a sank in the tail. I can stun break my friends. No. We are not big enough for that. That's a ton of people. Uh, I can empower. I can line. I can stab. I need to stab here, honestly. And then give me a reflect because I'm greedy. <laughs> I should not have done that. I needed to use my pages on something that was better for letting people live. Goodbye. I don't think I even have a way to give you resistance right now. So, like, if I get a mob, or I could just get spiked. That's fine, too. <laughs> it's fine. I made it further than my commander, which means that I succeeded. I didn't die after him, but it's only because he's got a lot more health than me. Okay, now that I can catch up, thank you for the sub, Pebcak. Appreciate it. Welcome. I'm going to assume that your decision to support the on-screen product means that you find it favorable in some way. Which I appreciate. What was I talking about? You guys should not rely on giveaways to, to pay your bills. We'll do some of them, but I you can't you can't be leaving weeklies on the table. It's crazy. I've assumed correctly. One more in the books. People really be like assuming makes an ass out of you and me, but what if you're careful about your assumptions? What have you always hit? <laughs> also ready to cash in? Alright, fine. If you're gonna force my hand. Mm, we should do that, probably. Oh, how do you? How dare you just walk over my line? That's cheating. Devs? Devs? A hacker? I obviously placed a staff five, and it did not prevent re-entry. It did not prevent ingress into the objective. Is this allowed? Mm, front one is not, but I'm a firebrand, so I can't. I'm giving you hallowed ground so that you don't get moved. That is not true. Pigeon's guilty as hell. Just look at him, man. I'm inspecting him right now. Oh, I don't have standard character models for allies. I can actually snipe your fashion. 
That's a that's a very powerful weaver outfit. There's a lot of skin showing. I bet you do good damage on that build. You can admit it. It's okay. Did I say weaver? I meant Ellie. Whatever. <laughs> Is Dragonbrand active this week? It's complicated because, uh, as far as I can tell, Dragonbrand is green. Dragonbrand is like literally only VIP, as far as I can tell. I don't think I've seen any other group that is on Dragonbrand that's not VIP. And VIP just like has a schedule. They raid four times a week. So like they're active when they tag up, which is five minutes ago for whoever's commanding for them tonight. But the, the DB-SBI matchup is really weird because it's like, you basically have three giant groups all the time. You have Saiga, you have Azure, and you have VIP. And that's it. That's like 80% of your content is those three tags. So rather than having like a couple 20-man groups to fight, a couple 30-man groups to fight, a couple map keys to fight, you have... 50 man zergs or absolutely nothing and there's zero middle ground at all i'll blast that last week they were hella dead they were fighting black gate yeah that makes sense i mean for this matchup specifically it's like you wait until 10 30 or 11 pm because then saiga takes up on ebg you check to see if azure is streaming because if he's streaming then he'll be playing somewhere and VIP tags up at the same hours, like, every single week. You get meteor showered on the choke and five people die is the worst thing that could happen. I'm getting in there. I'm on him. One pug dead. He's up! That's so lucky for him. Did you precast a signet on him? Okay. Good, because I wouldn't either. You know I took this yesterday, by the way, right? Like, we don't have to do weekly SMC again. Okay, I was just letting you know. I <laughs> just thought I'd, like, tell you. Mm, that's true. That is pretty true. I'm so tired of this meteor shower. Just give me a hallowed ground. No, this isn't the time that they take down. We're being actively dodged. True, true. Remember any time that a group is fighting you and then stops fighting you, it's because you got dodged, not because they take down. We're applying King Bully for logic to the situation. I like that Bully's now gone all the way towards if he doesn't see the group, then he's been dodged. It's just ignoring the concept of rally times in general. I love it. It's so funny. His model of like the world versus world universe and what time people play is so funny to me. Why did they tag down? I'm playing. <laughs> It's 12 midnight Eastern, but like, I'm not at work anymore, so why did they go to bed? Oh, when we when he was our sidecar, when he did unofficial raid, and he's like, I'm gonna go sidecar with people? I didn't know he yelled at us for tagging down at our scheduled time, that's so funny. What were you thinking? It's so inconsiderate. Bully said Sia was dodging them. I know. I send him screenshots every time it happens. Because <laughs> I think it's very funny. I'm not going to lie to you. I enjoy the antagonistic relationship that I maintain uh, between Bully and Rawl. I may occasionally send them screenshots of things they say from each other's Discord just to keep the animosity going. Because as a third party who sometimes attends both of their rallies, it benefits me personally. And also because both of them are like pretty adept shit talkers who are equipped to deal with it. 
I trust Rawls mental and I definitely trust Bully's mental to deal with the attention that they get from that. Good hammer three. Mm, did you fall out? Go on, go back inside. Go back inside. No? Okay, you're just gonna ask me? That's fine too. Yeah, Rawl. I forgot that Rawl is in Bully's Discord so that he can convey those things. I like it, man. I think it's good. It, this is, like, actually a controversial opinion. I'm not memeing. I think it's actually good when World vs. World has light animosity. I'm not saying that people should be toxic all the time. And I'm not saying that, like, you should never tell somebody GG. But I like it when you have a rivalry with another guild that gets you fired up and makes you want to log on because you know you're going to fight them that night. I think that's good. I think it makes for interesting stories, and I think it advances the game mode. But I do not expect, like, the entire universe to agree with that take. Nah, you should be able to reach him if you get into this corner. Mesmerpole did not hit him, for sure. Oh, okay. Like OP does with most. I think that occasionally people in Indo's community push it a little too far. But in general, yes. I think that Indo is good about knowing where that line is of, like, when to shit talk, but when to GG. I don't think that everybody in his community understands where that line is. Stream, mostly? Why? Did I miss something? <laughs> Staff polls? Oh, on Warrior. It's, listen. That's just because Staff is fun. I'm, I'm not telling people anything about that. It's just good. I mean, it's like, not only is it that it's a game, but it's also that it's a game that thrives on the relationships between different communities in the game. Like, there's no content release schedule for World vs. World. There's just other player groups to fight. And so you want to do this careful balance of not being so toxic that you drive participation out of the game mode, because then nobody has anything to fight. But you also don't want to be, like, so PMA that engaging in combat is not interesting. It's a hard balance to find, though. I mean, I, I really do think that the game mode dies or stays alive because of it. And I was talking about this before Emmy's raid, so it might be something that people have missed, but I'm really excited about the fact that Kiyoshi and I specifically are partners because I think we're really well equipped to talk about the game mode and present the game mode in a constructive way to audiences that might not be, oh, there's a group here, that might not be super familiar with it. Like, if I can talk somebody into starting to play World vs. World because I make it look interesting, that is basically like a new raid boss has been added to World vs. World. It's a new set of tactics and techniques that all the other game mode that all the other players in the game mode then need to learn. It's a new group that other new players can play with. It is a new group that, you know, can participate in these friendly rivalries. It's good. It's a it's a good win overall for the game mode when people want to play. And that's a dynamic that you don't really get as much in raids or in strikes or in PvE. Because it's easier for those communities to come together since they're not siloed.
That's a lot of dumps in there. I'm gonna assume the greens will take care of it. Here I've stabbed, sank in front. I'd rather be in maze for this. We're about to be in heavy melee. I really want to give people toughness for this clash. They've got a little more sustain. Deep hallowed for you to push to. Deep hallowed. You're in it. You're out of it. You're in it. <laughs> Lying behind. Give me some resistance procs, please. Immune, 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 immune. I tried. Stab. Pulls. Greediest pull you'll ever see in your life, but what am I gonna what else am I gonna do with my pages, man? They're mostly gone. Yep. The relationship between different guilds, and also, like, this isn't going to go away in restructuring, but it is going to change in restructuring. The relationship between servers, as well. Just because server identity actually still does kind of matter a bit. It's not like it matters as much as it did during seasons, or like at release or anything like that. You don't have, like, the server tribalism anymore. But you still have some server identity. You're like, I'm gonna, I'm not doing this for my guild, I'm doing this for, like, F.A. And that also helps to make it interesting. But, like, you know, there's people who are not looking forward to restructuring because that's going to go away. I don't think it's going to go away. I think it's just going to change. Instead of server identities, you're going to have identities tied to, like, some of the big alliance units that exist in the game mode. You know, you're going to have, like... You basically already have the VIP server with what Dragon Brand is, but... You're going to have, like, you know, the VIP community, you're going to have the Indo community, because the Indo community is really big. FA and Maguma are both basically just, like, building server alliance guilds, so you'll have that identity. It's just going to change, and it's going to take some adapting to, but it's a net positive overall, I think. It's too bad guilds don't associate with each other as much as they used to. I mean, that's a that's a different thing. What that is specifically, and yeah, in EU they do a bit more. Um, the issue with that, and this is like, I think I've talked about this once or twice, but I don't think I've talked about it very much. There need to be incentives for guilds to work together. And specifically, there need to be changes to the scoring system to get guilds to work together. Because if score mattered more and winning mattered more, you would have more incentive and more opportunities for guilds to actually want to form those associations. And I'm hopeful, this is like, this is not something that's coming out of partner program. It's just something that's like my personal hope. My personal hope is that the next big project that ANIT takes on after restructuring comes out is not actually alliances and building like that social architecture but is instead a revamp of the score system that makes winning matter more and incentivizes squa uh, roamers and havoc groups and small groups and zergs and all the different kinds of playstyles that exist in world versus world to actually want to work together towards a common objective. Because I think that would accomplish exactly what you're saying is that you would have more reasons for groups to work with each other if you did more in world versus world besides just fighter PPT. And then what did you say, Ocean? I missed it. Rivalry is what, new wor what caused New World to implode because it was hardcore PvP. Yeah, and that's the issue with the rewards, is that if the rewards are too overtuned, then you produce that situation. So, like, the rewards have to be worth competing for, but not so good that it incentivizes cheating. It's a difficult balance to strike. I'm going to stab this. I don't trust this veil. They're not going to push in. They would not push in. I'll push in, though. I'd rather spend resistance on this. I'd like to get out of the dome. I'd like... I should be in party view. Hang on. Hold on. Hallowed on you. Hallowed, hallowed, hallowed. Hang on. Okay, we're good. <laughs> That's important. So I party have condies? Yes, I can clear those. I would argue as well that, like... I think EVE Online was pretty good at getting that balance right, where it's like obtaining territory allowed you to collect items which allowed you to 
obtain money. And, like, that was a good model, but it also kind of started to get a little degenerate at the end. I don't mean in, I don't mean degenerate in terms of like toxicity. I mean degenerate in terms of like the goal stopped being competition and it started being optimization. Like when you optimize the competition out of your competitive PvP, you have a significant design problem on your hands. The problem with winning mattering again is the morning and overnight coverage drama. If you shortened the duration of a skirmish, you could mitigate it. You couldn't fix it, but you could mitigate it somehow. But yeah, right now the only incentive to winning... I, yeah, not even winning, just like the only incentive to paying attention to score in general is for fixing your matchup for the next week. That's a veil. We stab. We can't mace. Let's roll a shield here. Indom, probably. I'm gonna be low on stab by the time we actually fight here. He's done a good job of kiting us out twice. This needs to be small stab, and then I need hallowed here. Like, it's actually my only stability. I'm just gonna hope that it works for a while, and then next time he pushes, we have uh, uh, standard ground. I'm gonna have to use it now. There's so much CC. Oh, hallowed never went off. That explains why I felt like I had no stab. Hmm. <laughs> I can do this for you. It's only one, but it'll be good enough. And then I can give you a deep pallet that actually goes off. And then I can pick you on the left, because it looks like you're trying to wrap around that way. Big step for this. You have Zerk up. I want to make sure people have stab. Mm -hmm. I cannot save... Uh, I can maybe save that. And then this should help a little bit. I, I, can't, I don't have stab for people in baby gates. I'm sorry. I don't have any stab for you right now. I can empower. I should not be here. I'm going to pass away. Goodbye. <laughs> I cannot stay in that spot. Uh, Reflect would go pretty crazy here, probably. There's a lot of haze on us. Did I cancel it? Oh my god. That was a really sloppy fight. That was really, really sloppy. Didn't confirm Halo, didn't confirm Projectile Reflect. Mismanaged stab on the first two pushes. That's not good. It feels like Fabian is faking his first veil, so I think I need to just be like a little more patient. He definitely baited up my stand your ground there. Their name, I'm assuming their name and team speak is Arif, and they have heals or DPS and want to know what you need. Yeah. They they join team speak, so like immediately they're more important than the average bug. In week one, you totally didn't break into TC's EBG keep just to let us capture it. Yeah, I saw that scored. <laughs> I thought there was something going on there. You usually don't tie by accident. You usually tie on purpose. Blue's pretty big in there, yeah? Blasty. I do not need stab for this yet. I, I'll just, like, you can have Aegis. Aegis is going to be good enough. Okay, now we stab. <laughs> That's an ambitious drop. Some of them are going to push through us, but this is still no big skills here. The main group is in front. I can give, like, small stab here, probably. I can line the top of stairs. Because I think that's where you're going to try to leave. Ooh, good pull. 
Ooh, get a mob? I'm fine, I'm fine. Dude, I'm on Firebrand. I'm good. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> we mow up. We dodge. We screech. I wish I had dodges right now. We empower. We stab. Mm, Hallowed on you? That's a nasty dome. Be careful of that. Four, five, one. We pull off. It's a lot of cloud. Give me shield five here. Just mitigate some of this. Incredibly deep sanctuary. Waiting for that next MOA to come in. I know that she got CS'd. Any day. Be a good time for it. I'm in trouble. A MOA would be really bad right now. No, okay, that's fine. <laughs> this is gonna be hot. No, that's too hot. Yeah. I can't make it through that. And power isn't even gonna keep me up through that. It's a ton of damage. What color am I? I'm red. Here we are. I <laughs> remember seeing call it for a green attacking tower and you're just like, it's fine. Yeah, I remember there was one tie that people on... Like, I've never... I don't actually know enough about PPT to match fix. Like, I don't actually know how to generate a tie. But I've definitely been present for some of them. The one that I remember, I think it was Ag, but it might have been Evo. Would uh, They had like 20 people and they would just walk into an enemy group and not dodge and wipe. And then generate, you know, like 40 war score every time they did it. And just fed for like 40 minutes to alter the score enough that it ended up being a tie to swing like the last matchup. That's the approach that I would probably take because I don't actually know how the math works with like flipping objectives and ticks and all that kind of stuff. I just know that when you kill an enemy, you get a plus two. And then if you do it too much, then it turns into like a plus one, and then sometimes it turns into a plus zero. But that's easy. You just look at like whether the number changed. <laughs> it's not that complicated. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Merck. What's up? How you doing? We do have content. It's true. We've Arguably, we've had content all night, except for when we were waiting for the queue. But it's what I was trying to tell you about yesterday. Also, VIP is tagged up somewhere at some point right now. So if you get tired of this, we can go find them too. You're fortunate because you've got CO and PVD together. I noticed that you guys seem like you're having a lot of fun. I think CO is one of the few guilds that I would probably join if something happened to KNT. Which it won't, because KNT is old as hell. But I like I like the environment that Rawl has created. He runs a little bigger than I'd prefer, but it's a really fun crew. I like them. I could put I could I could run out and put on feel my wrath and run back in. Mm, okay. Step. One. Sank. You're gonna need toughness for this, because they now know that we exist. I'd like mace now, please. Give me a small stab, and then I'll hail it. Hail it on you. He even called for it, man. I knew. Stab. Oh, that's a good MOA, because I was about to empower. That's a good decision. Well done. Now I can empower, though. <laughs> there we go. Four, five, one. They're not CSing the MOA, which is interesting. Mm, that's a lot of people. I'm going to sank here just to annoy them. Thank you for the punt. No, it's not possible. You can't, you can't, you can't patch the wall anymore. It's not possible. No, no, this is illegal behavior. That's not, oh, the other wall came down. Second wall came down. <laughs> No, we tried so hard. 
Oh no, they're pulling off. They're already demoralized. We won. Moral victory. Moral victory. Dude, it's crazy. It's about to become my most viewed clip of all time. Just subbed me on YouTube last night for the balance match. Nice. Yeah, I was surprised by that one. I I honestly, after we got the patch on um, March, the like the March. 19th one or whatever. I did not think we'd be getting another balance match. That's a it's a really quick turnaround. Like I'm I'm hopeful that that may be a trend because it would be really neat if we got a small balance patch every month to just tune a couple problem numbers. I'm trying not to read too much into it because I don't want to get my hopes up, but if that was their patch model going forward, that'd be really positive. God, I have a lot to catch up on. Sorry, that was a long fight. Hang on. I'm reading. Oh, no, I'm not reading. He's pushing. Man, look, I'm trying to engage with chat. <laughs> it's making it really hard to be a streamer by trying to fight all the time. I'm going to need to stun break people there, probably. Like, that's a clone, I bet. And, um, four, five, one. I'm going to... This is a this is a full pull-off. It's a full pull-off. Here, I have one stab. That's a pretty bad stun. Not fine, never mind, just kidding. I'm in. Alright, I have time to read now. Repairing? I know, can you believe it? We successfully, the world first, uh, in combat wall repair. Nobody has ever done this in world versus world before. Race to world first is over. Thought ain't at band repairing? Pfft, me too. Sometimes you just gotta do things even if everybody tells you it's not possible. Kevin Garnett really did have it right when he said anything is possible. You ever think about that? He was so true for that one. I still like how many people get confused by the PVD tag. You've painted yourself into a corner on that one. Do people also ask you the same question when you say that you're tagging down to go to sleep? They're like, I thought you didn't sleep. I thought you only did like door fighting. And then you're like, no, actually, we need to sleep. Meme Dash when Blue repaired all the walls they broke down on hills. It's good. It's so good. I was giving him, like, I think okay commentary when we were fighting him. I've said it before, and every time I say it, I feel like, hang on, we're fighting. They also veiled the rare double veil. One of the best empowers I think I've probably ever used. Dodge one. I don't need a hallowed yet. Just roll a couple weapon skills first. This needs to be a hallowed at this point, probably. Like, I don't want to get pulled into that, and we have standard ground up. Empowering, empowering, empowering. Mm, he's pulling off wasted in power. Hang on. Hang on. I'll be I'll be right back. It's a little busy. Five. Five five five. It's a wasted stab too. I don't have Indom either. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> this is gonna be a sketchy push. I'm gonna need to sank here. Just hope. Hope and pray that your party's okay. I'll be stabbing immediately. Yum. Oh, you can't invis from me. I know where you are. Hallowed main stack. Hallowed main stack. Hallowed main stack. Ah, never mind. They're leaving. Lead deep line. Deep line. Immune, immune, immune. We tried. That was a scuffed as hell second engage. But, like, he, he baited me on when he actually wanted to push. Like, Ruthless did, specifically. Azure abandoned the realm. He had a hard series of fights in front of him tonight. I can't blame him too much. KNT plus Bomb is a really difficult group to sort. I, I know my place and my guild's reputation. It's not an easy group. 
I appreciate that he used interesting tactics, and there are a couple times where the the stealth technology that he's been using probably would have been devastating if he'd used it at like slightly different of a time. I think I genuinely think, and I was telling him this in his Discord, that his stealth technology is actually like a legitimate strat that they could work on. And that it would win them some fights that they would probably not win otherwise. I don't know if he believes me, but it's I think it's true. Are we running Scourge right now, or are we still running Reaper? We have one Scourge, so answer is it doesn't really matter. These are definitely the fights where having one or two Scourges would be useful, as much as it pains my soul to say it. When you're fighting like 31 plus 10 greens versus 55, and they're really long protracted melee engages, it really benefits you to have a bit of barrier. Also, I can salvage all of these. I don't even know what you're doing in this inventory. I have a legendary relic. Get out of here. God, no wonder my inventory is such a piece of shit. Commander, I sniffed. There's no enemies outside. Commander, I looked with my eyes. There's no enemies outside. I just wanted to make sure my sniff didn't lie. Who is Blue Tag? Crazed Death Seeker. Okay, Blue Tag is now at spawn. I don't think that went well for them. Hello, blue group. That's an ambitious veiled. <laughs> Boy, any piece of shit get back here. That's a wasted indom, but I would rather greet on the projectile reflex because I think it's funny. I'll deal with the low stab later. Hey, look at all the work that reflect is putting in. I've I've tagged everyone in the group. Aegis this. We're just going up for pulls, so I don't want to waste big stab on anything. Just like give people ages. And then we pull off, it preserves all of our stability. We don't have to worry about it. Send so I'll screenshot this for you. You know what? I'll just screenshot this for you now. Hang on a minute. You're really gonna want this one. You're gonna you're gonna put this one on your refrigerator, I guarantee it. What's the image hosting website everyone uses now? Gaza? Imgur? Do people still use Imgur? Hang on, it's, it's important. I know that like I'm supposed to be supporting my party right now, but don't worry about all that. I'm good. That was a mob. I just had to find where resistance was. We do this. 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 Sank in front. Invuln, 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 immune, invuln, invuln. Stab up. Line deep. I'm breeding, I'm breeding, I'm breeding. It's so good. <laughs> hallowed on you, hallowed on you, hallowed on you. And cover it off. Empowering, empowering. Blasting. Do I have stability for this? Kind of. Stun break the tail. That's a pretty good MOA. Mm, I'll just do this though. And I'm fine. Stab up. Okay, Moa. 
It's not like it wasn't a good MOA, but it wasn't a terrible MOA. It was late is the biggest problem. Like if you've already lost twenty five, a MOA is not really gonna accomplish anything. Okay, now let me see if I can get this uploaded. Paste image. Copy link. Santa got high praise in map chat. He was complimented. Somebody said that Senna was not completely ass at his own game. Which is the highest praise that any random person in World vs. World will ever give an Anet dev. That's <laughs> basically... Does the link work? I didn't check it. Yeah, it works. Stone Mist Castle, 10 green, on in Niener Northwest. In Niener. Good job, Aro. And for your first night on Firebrand 2. Just a, a real success story all around. Interesting title. What class would you even run Demon Queen with? Sorry, I forgot I got locked into Firebrand Jail. Uh, I'm thinking about running it on Reaper. You have uh, Shroud 4, which is Poison. You have Staff 3, which is Poison. And then you have Cross of Poison Cloud, which is Pulsing Poison. And my suspicion is that with how res heavy the meta is right now, with Necro's Rolling Transfuse, with Glyph of Stars, with Battle Standard, with Signet, that you can actually do a pretty good job of disrupting reses if you dump poison on a down stack. Or even just like, you know, cut into the amount of healing that a group can generate in general when they're trying to sustain in melee. I think. We don't really have fights that are good for testing that this week, but I think. Has the meta been different this week? I haven't seen anything super different, as far as I know. But again, this is not a good week for... Um, for lack of a more respectful way to phrase it, competitive fights. Many of the tags in this matchup on DB and SBI and ET are very pug heavy and don't tend to run strictly enforced comps. Oh, I do know what they're running then. No, I know what you're talking about. Seb. I'll I'll tell you in a second. What they're running and Hallad, Hallad, Hallad. What they're running, and you're also gonna see Indo doing this if you fight Indo is uh, they are running Selly, Mr. Rebuke, Firebrand as a hybrid profession. And then they're also Deep Line, Deep Sank. They're also running uh, Parish's Selly Renegade video build. Which I think all of those are probably like pretty good, but you do have to comp around them. There's the triple MOA we were waiting for. Good thing I've got both my dodges. Easy.
the biggest adjustment, honestly, to just getting Moas is dump your stab off cooldown when you come out of it. Because, like, here's here's Primer on Firebrand, right? One group had 16 Firebrands? Okay, maybe I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> maybe I actually don't know what's going on in there. I don't know, man. They sound like they're on some, some different technology from other people. Here's your primer for uh, the How to Mow a Firebrand, by the way, right? Since we're like a Firebrand tutorial stream now. Firebrand has three main stability cooldowns. You have Standard Ground, you have Indomitable Courage, and you have Hallowed Ground. If you are going to mow a Firebrand, you should basically never mow a Firebrand that has all three of those abilities on cooldown, because they're, they've already used up all the shit they're in party for. They don't have a lot else to contribute to the economy. Like, they can open Resolve to clear Condis, they can roll weapon skills to spread Aegis, but that's not really why you're bringing Firebrand. You could also stun break, but again, it's like, it's not really why you're bringing Firebrand. When you want to MOA a Firebrand is when you feel like your party is, their party is about to push, and they have one of their stability skills off cooldown. Because if you MOA a Firebrand right before they push, you've disrupted stability to basically their entire party. If I'm a MOA, I can't use Stand Your Ground. And if I can't use Stand Your Ground, the rest of my party doesn't have it. Now in this case, I've communicated to my party that I'm getting MOA'd and that we should have JJ running Banner of Tactics. So it doesn't affect me at all. But if you're doing that to a Firebrand who's like not very good at communicating, then you can you can get him. Hello, Senna, by the way. Hello. We found you. We noticed you. See, Jim. See, Jim. Somebody else said that in comms. I'm just repeating it. No, no, no. That was a response to someone else in comms. I would never advocate for that. I think sieging is very unprofessional and wrong. Yeah, I was just saying what I saw. I was just engaging in a little bit of say what you see. Probably half minstrels, half silly. So what, they're running like full minstrel firebrand? And then they're running Selly Shattered Ages? And they're running Renegade. Where are they getting their damage from? What was their damage on Ark when you looked at it afterwards? Like, Hollow Zerker, one per party? Or are they using Renegade as, like, burn? Yeah, but, like, just cleanse it forehead. <laughs> I don't know. Right? No? Just me? I don't know. I just don't feel like I would want to be running burn in a meta where support scrapper is good again with how many pulse and condition clears they have. I feel like it's difficult in the current meta economy to run single damage parties. I'm not saying you can't do it. Indo does it successfully. I'm pretty sure Pengi does it successfully as well. It wouldn't surprise me if his party was like single hollow, single zerk. Yeah, I like, I like timers and I like sitting people. I love looking at my party UI for like two minutes before evens and then being like, okay, I need this one specific person to sit for just this round, I love that. Oh man, it gets me out of bed in the morning, you have no idea. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be difficult to survive doing that meta though, because with the, the hollow nerf and the scorched earth nerf, like, arc divider is still fine, overheat is still fine. I just don't think you can count on a single hollow smith, zerker, arc divider sync to like carry you through an entire fight. You can get one spike out of it, but then you don't do anything after that. So, like, if you whiff that spike, you're in Nightmare Land. But I guess maybe that's, like, where the Shattered Ages Firebrand comes in, because you just, like, pump constant damage to everyone around you. I don't know. I've said it in, like, most patch videos. I'm actually not a very good theory crafter. I can understand why other people do what they do 
sometimes, but I'm not the guy who's going to be inventing new metas. That's not what I'm good at. Donk. We and boys. Renegade for stab strips with the Kill and Banish Enchantment. That's the build that I'm familiar with. Yeah. It's decent, but not great. It's strip stab. It also does, like, incidental uh, non-stab strips off of Banish. And then it also has, like, some alacrity and healing component, doesn't it? That that Selly Renegade build runs alac, right? So you're, like, kind of using it as a weird chrono. It's not, like, exactly the same, but, like, you, it's it's in the spot that Chrono used to occupy as boon removal plus alacrity. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Budley Studley. Welcome. Oh, group outside. Hello. Seem to have Vindy, Hollow, and Soul Beast. Okay. I, I think I know those builds. Uh, yeah, Kyoshi, who you play, who you playing with? Let me look at let me look at my calendar. Gal ends in like nine minutes. I actually don't know who's running right now. Who? Who's restacking us with us? I don't know. I don't see anyone running. Uh, I might join you for another event later when I know who else is tagged up. We'll figure it out, though. Now that we can transfer at will, it's very fun. Also, I did I did some testing while uh, I was waiting for EBGQ. We cannot transfer to full servers, but we, we do get pips if we transfer. Yep. I, I transferred... I transferred and came back after the transfer, and I still get pips tonight, so. So that does appear to work. Anyway, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to find any other groups running tonight, because I haven't finished my homework yet. So here's what we're going to do instead. I'm going to be done playing Guild Wars. I'm going to hit you with the socials. There is a Discord. There is a VODs channel. Those are going to be the best ways to see what we've been working on on the channel in the past and get caught up on stuff and get pings. And then uh, I'm going to go play Zomboid. So if you're only here for Guild Wars stuff, that's going to be the end of Guild Wars stuff tonight. But we're going to go do a little bit of Zomboid stuff. Meta be damned, just play what you can pilot. Like, honestly, there's an argument for it. The way that we've been handling the uh, healing professions in KMT is we think that there are four viable healers. We think that Scrapper is good. We think that Druid is good. We think that Vindy's good. We think that Tempest is good. And we've just been saying, bring the one that you feel most comfortable on. And that works fine. We've kind of done the same thing with Hollowsmith and Zerker, although we do want a minimum number of Berserkers for, like, banners. 